you know what, you're going to have to go around town and ask a few of the other people that because I was traveling but I, and I was on the road, but I didn't come back here until 1986. But when I got back here, it was, it was, it was still pretty slow. But in the 90s, it, it has picked up. But during the, uh, the, the, the decade of the 70s to the mid 80s, I'm, I'm a little lost. But some of these folks are here in Eric have been here all their life. As a matter of fact, uh, this is the redneck capital of the world, and my wife and I are cultured rednecks because we've been out of Beckham County, which is the county that we're in. And, and most of the other folks are pure D rednecks. They're the real thing. They're pure rednecks. And we try to be like them, but we're not quite, uh, we're, we're just a little bit different than they are. It would be great if we were pure redneck, but we're not. So uh, I, I don't know really what it was like down in the dry period, but uh, uh, I think people were trying to figure out uh, how, to, how to grab the economy back uh, because it was, it was bypassing us on I-40. We didn't even have the Love's travel stop out here until about 1990. And, and there was no motels out on the, on the exit here at Eric. So uh, I, I, I don't know. But the people that do know, I think they would say it was just a little bit on the dry side. 